uh, Drum Inc. is apparently a Muslim and said, David, you know how you talked about shaving the pubes and armpit hair. It's because cleanliness is half of Muslims' faith. And by cleaning those parts, it cleans you from bad sweat. So notice the objection, right? We, we, uh, we uh, portrayed the idea that Muhammad was obsessed with his followers um, plucking certain hairs and, sh and trimming certain hairs and so on. And he had his followers on a, on a 40 day schedule um, where they would have to, to do this on a certain schedule. And uh, if, you, if you read it, it sounds like, I mean, it almost sounds like Muhammad's a, a, a metrosexual, what we would call a metrosexual today, right? Not, a, not, not homosexual, metrosexuals are, you know, guys who are obsessed with, you know, grooming in certain ways and things like that. Um, but think about the response here. The response is, well, this is because, you know, it's because of cleanliness. Well, one, as a rule, if you're focused on cleanliness, you probably shouldn't be doing your ablutions in a pool of water that has dead animals and use menstrual cloths and human waste in it, if that's really the goal. I look at that and conclude that's not the goal. It can't be. Uh, second, if you're concerned about hair on your body, we're really about cleanliness and doing away with germs and so on. Muslims are encouraged <laughs> to keep large beards. And that is by far the worst place to have a lot of hair. I'm not saying don't grow a beard. Uh, I'm saying you want to be very careful about washing it. But that's what I would say about the rest of your body. Now, if you're in a desert, you're not in a great position to be taking showers regularly or something like that. But what that means is your beard is going to accumulate massive, massive numbers of bacteria and so on. So if the goal is actually for personal hygiene, then your pubic hair is much further away from your, from your mouth than your beard is. So that should be the first thing to go. I can only conclude that that is a very poor, uh, very poor response. And that was not Muhammad's intention.